oh shit, these hoes is getting out of line. I'm about to find out how they're going to discipline them. We got two samurais. We got Kiyoshiro and we got what's his name? The one that turns into a hydra. We're going to see if he if he turns the girl into a hydrant, which didn't make any sense, but they both had the word high in it, so I said it. Okay, anyway, Enru blowing bubbles with some frogs. They over top of a sky island. I wonder if that's canon. I don't think so. The fuck is going on? My internet just went off. That's one good thing about not recording these live is the internet going out won't stop the um, the video. But I got to get connected again real quick because I ain't trying to be away from y'all for too long. And for some reason, this, this is my newer computer. It does this a lot for some fucking reason. But let's get let's get back to it. All right, here we go. We back. Lord Orochi, that's his fucking name. Please calm yourself. What a waste. He said, calm down. Chill the fuck out. He said, nah. Nah, they holding him like this. One guy by the throat. It's all his people is holding one of the damn heads. And he's like, nah, this bitch snitching. She, she, uh, uh, she, getting, she getting out of line. This uppity bitch. <laughs> what a waste of beauty. It looks like he's a myth. Yeah, it's a mythical beast. Okay. Whoa, hold on. What the fuck? Now, that shit don't make no damn sense. Okay, wait. What a waste of beauty it would be. I do not wish to crush your head in my jaws. Grovel in apology. If you beg for your life, he said, if you beg for your life, I might let you have it. Okay, Zoan, mythical beast type, snake, snake fruit, model, Yamata no Orochi. What the fuck is that? So it's a snake fruit? Like, some of these shit don't make no damn sense. I thought it was going to be Mythical Zoan Model Hydra. Snake, snake fruit, mythical beast. Okay, that's cool. Snake, snake. So the um, dragon's a snake, and then the other dragon is a fucking um, a dinosaur? Like, all right. Okay, I will lighten your punishment. He said, I'm still going to punish that ass. Yo, the motherfucker's still wearing a damn jacket. He still got the shirt on. Okay, lingering affection. They say that they say that to love is to lose. He said they still he still love her because he didn't just destroy her on the spot. Cause he could have just demolished her right where she stood right then and there. Uh let's see. What are you doing? Don't egg him on. Sister. And the girl's still laughing because she's from that weird part of town. Uh I what she can her say? She better beg for her life. Will not beg for my life. Yo, curse you. Why'd you come this way? What the fuck? Some weird guys is happen to be around. He snatched up two of these weirdos. I don't know what the fuck is going on with them. I don't like the little design he got at the top of the eyes because they look like eyes themselves, but they look like real cartoonish. Like I keep thinking those are eyes, but they're not. But he snatched up two guys for I don't know what reason. Okay, you cheeky what? The fuck just happened? She said she will not beg, and he snatched up two different guys. The fuck was that about? Two guys is running, lingering affection. They said that well, he didn't like the fact that they were talking shit. They said something about you know him still liking the girl. I think that's what it is. Look, he got the whole fucking castle shaking. Now he bit them. No, no, he ain't bit. He ain't bite them. He grabbed the girl. Uh, K K Kira Smoke, Kira Morka, whatever her name is. Uh, Kamurasaki, I meant. Very well, Kamurasaki, as you wish. I will decide your fate with my with my hands. He ain't gonna do it. He going he gonna be like, no, that shit too tight. Oh man, it's too moist. I, you know what I'm saying? It's gonna be that. All right, um. Courtesan, Lady Komorosaki, Kom uh, she knows he ain't gonna do it. That's why she's doing that. Okay, okay. Uh, Daiko Daikoku, if your ninja are here, tell them to stop the Shogun. Save the courtesan. Okay, 
dudes like, yo, save that girl. He didn't fucking, uh, Orochi went fucking ape shit. The Shogun is a free man. None can, be- can bind him. More importantly, we're in the middle of facing off with this, uh, with this intruder. Who's she, who's they facing off? Where's the intruder right? Well, I mean, where's the intruder at? Intruder. Oh, that's all right there. I thought that was Kamurasaki. No, they facing off. They said they're facing off against her. Oh, Robin is holding them off? Like, wow. But Robin's been getting trashed since the fucking time skip. She's been getting trashed. Oh, Robbie is an intruder. Granted, I've never seen her before. This, like, that made sense. That's fucking funny. I like that. They said she's an intruder. They said, well, now that I think about it, I'd never seen her before. So <laughs> it kind of makes sense. Oh, man. Hey, sister. Save the quarter sign. Okay, the girl's still laughing. Impossible. I don't know if I'll even be able to save you, and you're the one that angered the Shogun. Okay. They trying to, they they going at the Robin, like, they can't, Robin's too much for the for them to handle? Okay, save us, we're going to be cursed to death. What in the world is going on over there? Okay, Fujin, Raijin, what is the matter? Oh, Brooke is in there. It's a ghost! I cursed the, it's, it's actually a fucking ghost, it's Brooke's ghost. The starving skeleton spirit really exists. <laughs> the, it was, it's a damn uh, myth over there talking about the starving skeleton. Okay, they happen to get lucky, but that makes sense though. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lie. That that's a good one. Starving skeleton. That makes sense. I can I can see that because they got villages where people are starving, and it's always ghost stories around different places. Whatever people always got ghost stories. So you see a ghost that's a skeleton. That that doesn't to me honest. It seems convenient, but it doesn't because it fits perfectly with the story. I would take this. Sometimes they just have something that seems like too convenient. This seems convenient, but all the setup is there. You know what I mean? I mean, all the setup is there where it doesn't seem like it's just some random thing. It, it, it fits. The girl's laughing about Brooke, seeing Brooke. And then she passed out. She laughed too much to the point that she passed out. Well, somebody hit her with... Uh, 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 what, hockey or something like that? Okay, Hono Kichi, wonderful, thank you. Keep going just like that. Okay, what the fuck, betcha? Oh, she laughing at the ghost. She said, keep doing it. She laughing at Brooke. Okay, let's leave this castle now. He said, let's leave this castle now. Dude trying to get the fuck out of there. And to be honest, one good thing is, think about the island that they're on. These uh, uh, shinobi, or whatever, these ninjas I meant, they never been off this island. Whatever quirks and shit like that they got, they've had it since the beginning. They they never had contact with the outside world. Some shit goes on over there, is of course it's gonna cause a panic. That makes sense. Okay. Gigantesco mano giant hand or some shit like that. So Robin used some damn giant hand and smacked the dude. I mean, she smacked the bullshit out of him. More magic. Are these guys in the alliance of spirits? They don't even know what uh, um, uh, uh, Dove Fruits are. So just like, uh, what you call him? Said it was magic. Uh, what's his name? Um, oh, shit. I just now realized that. Uh, Kandro, right? Kandro. What's the motherfucking name? Not Kandro. Kandro, his buddy. Uh, King of mine. He said that he, he had magic, meaning that he got the devil fruit after he left um, uh, Wano. I didn't even think about that. He got the devil fruit after he left Wano and didn't even know what it was. He probably was hungry and just snacked on the shit and was like, damn, what the fuck? This shit tastes like shit. And then realized he had powers. Okay, first Robin, now Brooke. There's no point hiding anymore. Let's go. He said, let's go, motherfucker. Yo, the dude in the wall. The fat one, the one that be scaling the damn roofs. It made sense because he was always on the roof, so he probably would have saw him first. Yo, the fat motherfucker in there, he behind it looking up her dress. The dude's a perfect, he's a straight weirdo. Straight creep. Who are you, a ninja? Are you Hanzo? So you're alive. The bewitching, the enchanting uh, Kunoichi, the man killer, Shinobi. 
She just changed her form. To, wait, she ain't changed her form. They're looking at how she used to look. She used to be slim. Now she just thick. She used to be slim thick. No, I'm playing. Now she just thick. Okay, indeed. Nope, I think I confused you for someone else. Okay, it's me, damn it. Ninja art, ball crusher. Ball cr Yo, she went for his balls. Is that even ninjutsu? <laughs> Knocked the motherfucker out. She took a cheap shot on this motherfucker. So this is the man killer. I guess what they mean by man killer, she be going at people's nuts. Okay, that's what you meant? Ninja art paralysis. Paralysis, it really is a par it, That will paralyze you. I can't move. He got hit in the nuts. No, duh, you can't move. You're just adding You're just adding that on after the fact. You're adding that on after the fact. Okay. <laughs> He's, it's, exactly. She's saying she said that because she knew he couldn't fucking move because he was hurt. Okay, here we go, Um, Onami. Sexy ninja art. Now, what the fuck is getting ready to happen? Sexy ninja art. They just fell through the roof. Dry garden. What the fuck? They just made the... What? The ceiling fell in Lord Orochi. But she made the ceiling dry out or something like that? And it fell on Orochi, right? But if Orochi's really a beast, that shouldn't be too much of a problem for him. Like, you see one of his eyes go like... Look like he got knocked out or something like that? Hopefully, they did that just for, um, yep, yep, just for the effect. It didn't really have too much of an effect on them. Okay, what is happening? The banquet chambers have been destroyed. Hanzo just appeared from the ceiling. And who are those two? Kunoichi. Okay. Nami, I'll curse you. Why? I'm just here for support. Fucking Brooke playing with uh Robin. I mean, playing with Nami. Playing fucking games. Okay, let's see what's going on. Okay, Kiyoshiro, he pops up. Look like he got his mind right, money right, ready for war. He walks right up over to uh, uh, Kamurasaki, whatever. Now, what you call him couldn't do it. Uh, Orochi couldn't do it. He's like, man, she, she too bad. She too bad. She slim thick. I can't do it. I can't do it. Now, Kiyoshiro look like he he down to get down. Okay, are you prepared? He said, you've really done it now, Kamurasaki. Are you prepared? She said, I am. What? What a what? Wait a minute. Boss Kishiro. Yo, he slashed right through her. He went right at her. Now, at this point in time, I would love it. I doubt it's going to happen because they never do it in one piece. If her body just literally fell apart. Like they really just killed somebody. Like really knocked somebody off. That would be awesome. Now everybody's looking like, what? And she's like, look like she's about to die. It look like it. But you know how they do on One Piece. Remember what happened with Zoro? He just held this shit together. He hugged himself to keep his shit from falling apart. And survived it. Kid Shiro just went right in. He don't play. The courtesan has been killed. Lady Kamurasaki fell in one blow. No fucking does a goddamn sword. They don't take. They don't take no nothing but one blow. Sister, sister. Oh, I thought I was. I swear to God, I started um the, the the show. Sister, sister. I was thinking of the twins. Lord Kishiro, why would you do such a thing? Quarter sign. Okay, whatever. Such is the fate of Wano's greatest beauty. How tragic. She don't look that good anyway. Okay, what have you done, Kishiro? Who told you to kill her? Orochi mad because he really, he, he just that infatuated with her. That was a samurai's mercy. Rebellion against the Shogun is a heinous crime no matter who you are. The offender shall be judged by iron. He said, man, you went, he went, she went against you, so you gotta kill you, kill her. Hey, he right. He trying to make fucking, um, whoa, what the hell? Whoa, wait a minute. Whoa, wait, hold on. He did the right thing. That was his job. But anyway, what you call him? Uh, uh, Orochi want to make special exceptions to whoever he wanted to make exceptions to. <laughs> Why would you go to such lengths just to prove your loyalty? And he pulls out the little um paper. 
Kia Shiro pulls out the paper. I don't know if it's one or two things. Is it Kia Shiro that pulled it out? I gotta flip to the next page and find out. Is Kia Shiro one of the beasts from 20 years ago? He's not, he don't look old enough. And he said that he wanted to fight one of them. But they saying why he's going to such great lengths. Maybe he's really getting ready to turn on them and he just want to make sure that they think that he's with them. Or Kamorosaki is holding the shit. Let's see. Kamorosaki. Kamorosaki might be one of them. Either, either he is or she is. It look like him. Let me see. Because they show him, then they show it right then and there. Or did he see it? What the fuck is going on? You, hand over the bread. I'll bite her to death. <laughs> he got two of the heads going after uh, Robin while um, she running with the girl. Please stop. The castle can't handle much more. To be honest, yeah, the castle about to be done. If you had laughed at me, none of th if you hadn't laughed at me, none of this would have happened. He's pissed because the girl got uh, killed, Kamurasaki. That's all he worried about. He's like, damn, she was fine as hell, and you got you went and got her killed. Okay, give her give her here, Orabi, and just who are you? And just he's saying, if you're doing all this, something ain't right. He said, I just met you, and you doing this, something ain't right. You're a traitor or something. He's starting to realize that. Now here come Nami, pulled out the damn climate attack. She pulled out Zeus. He, she had him in the thing. Zeus, who called Nami? Okay, um, I'll give you a weather egg. Really? Okay, she said I'll give you a weather. Egg. She got bribe him to go ahead and fuck something up. But this is big mom shit. So if she use that, she gonna light these motherfuckers up. She about to light them up. Zeus is strong as hell. So is that is it not going to attack? He says is it not going to attack. This isn't the time to be chased around by angry ghosts. Okay, crap. They figured me out. Oh, they 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 wondering why Brook ain't ain't attacking. They like he ain't attacking. So fuck if he ain't attacking, we ain't got to run from him. I should probably <laughs> so Brook about to go ahead and retreat. Now what the hell just happened? I can't see what the fuck that is. Somebody tripped or something? Somebody's running up some stairs. It's like they tripped or something. Okay, attend. And in, in, uh, indecent in, in, incident. Okay. Attend an incident in the banquet chambers. Capture the invaders. Vanquish the spirits. And stop Lord Orochi's rampage. Okay, the fucking internet went out again. It's not the internet. It's this computer doing this. I don't know why I keeps doing this. Like, I gotta keep reconnecting every couple minutes. Like what the fuck? It's, it's really irritating. All right, get down, everyone. Now who the fuck did this? Ninja art. Thunder. Okay. Oh, she said fucking Nami said ninja art like she a ninja now. Okay, that lightning about to hit the asses. Storm. Okay. What's it called? Thunderstorm? Fucking the road. She's like, what the fuck is going on? Thunderstorm. She just cracked everybody. I wonder if um if Zeus can use hockey. Like can the um can the homies use hockey? I'm not sure. The next morning, Mont Wano, Corey left over town. Fucking Big Mom is in Leftover Town? If she can't find no food, she's gonna go fucking crazy. My apologies, Olin Olin. We don't have much more than that. Oh, they gave her food? Okay, I'm still hungry, but you're so poor, and yet you gave me some. Thank you, Miss Suru. Okay, Shuriko is sweet and delicious. She said, man, you gave me something, and y'all ain't even got shit. Now, what the fuck is going on with Big Mom? How come she can't remember? Is it that she's been away from Zeus so long? Remember, Zeus is part of her. Her her soul is part is part Zeus. I'm hoping that that is the uh, explanation. I don't think they should have gave her um, amnesia, but they could have said, "Hey, part of her personality is missing, and part of that personality is a bad part, 
and it's in Zeus or something like that. I don't know. I'm glad it was to your liking. Are we really going to go? Are we willing to go? Are we really going to go? If her memories return, we're done for. Waiting here is worse. Let's go. This this could be our chance. He said, we got to get the fuck out of here. Okay, what is it, my cute little chopper mind? Chopper mind, okay. Udon, is there Shiru, Shiru, uh, Shiruko here? Um, there? If so, let's go right now. Nine days till the day of the final battle. Okay, that's it, I think. Yeah, right, I'm hoping. I think the whole amnesia thing is bullshit. You know, it's played out. You hear, you see it happen a lot. It's too convenient. Um, shit, I'm just trying to make sure my computer don't die. I got to plug it in. It's too, it's too fucking convenient. And it happens just like right when they need it. And, but if they would have said that Zeus, being that Zeus is part of her personality or whatever, because it's part of, she, Zeus is part of her. She been away from him some, so long and it don't take but so long. Long, so long for her to be away from her soul or whatever it was or her spirit or whatever that it changes her personality and she stopped being as angry as she was before I can understand that that would work you know what I mean I wouldn't I wouldn't go with the amnesia thing I'd be like she remembers them but she's not going off on them because the angry part of her spirit is gone or something like that and maybe Zeus as long as they keep him fed he's not going to go you know psycho you know what I mean that would make sense. And I would accept that. Now, as far as this um, kid Shiro go, I'm trying to figure out the fuck happened with him. Because I see the hand. Somebody is part of the, uh, what you call them, the, uh, the uh, uh, Ninja Alliance or whatever. And it looked like kid Shiro. Because he got the thing. He got the ticket. Is kid Shiro really that strong? And it seems like this is a, um, it could be a red herring, but it seems like this is some foreshadowing. It said, why would he go to such lengths just to prove yourself? He could have just uh, slashed him, but not in a vi not in any vital spots enough to keep, uh, what you call him? Um, like he might have not been sure if Orochi was going to kill her. So he went ahead and slashed him, even though it was going to damn near kill her. Just to keep her from getting killed by Orochi. That might be the case. We don't know for a fact that she's dead yet. And usually um, Oda doesn't kill anybody. So this is an interesting chapter. I wouldn't say it's the greatest chapter in the world. But it's interesting. I like it better than the last chapter. It had a lot of action. It was fast paced. That's good. The pacing was pretty good. Um, some of the stuff made sense. Like the, like the, uh, the ghost thing. Those things seemed like. It seemed convenient, but when you see the setup, it works in this situation. Um, and seeing what, what made me think about the Big Mom thing was when um, Nami summoned Zeus. If I'm thinking about it, Zeus is part of Big Mom, so that just clicked. I'm not exactly sure how that's going to work. But I've really, I'm really not a big fan of that that whole uh, amnesia thing. It's just too convenient. Um, it's been over. It's overused. Um, and it, it's just it's just like a bad writing plot, you know. It, it should know it should be used very very sparingly. Um, I wonder if Kid Shiro is one of the uh, people because we know there was three of them. Well, at least three of them, whatever. Three like really tough guys that used to work for Laura Odin or whatever. We seen one of them that was um, Sutton Morrow or whatever. That's a full fact. But there's a couple more. And I wonder if Kia Shiro is one of them. But Kia Shiro seemed to be a little young for that. But maybe. We'll find out in the next episode of Dragon Ball Z. Now I'm playing. But anyway, go ahead and leave your comments. Like the video. Subscribe because I can't eat. I'm broke, nigga. I'm broke. And you got the power to change that. Check the links in the description box. Peace.